know the Wild Animal Sanctuary obviously addresses the captive wildlife crisis in the United States and around the world. And having um, you know education and getting the public to know about the problem is really critical for us because the problem just continues to get, grow and get worse without people understanding where these animals come from. Basically, address the captive wildlife crisis in the United States, where all these animals are coming from really bad captive situations. But for us, the problem only gets worse without people learning about this problem. And so having the education component that we do where not only the general public gets to have access to come here and learn about what the animals, where they came from and what we do, but also um, groups and, and school groups and other things where we can have um, other people document the stories and learn more about it. My name is Matthew Carman, C-A-R-M-A-N. I work for Canon USA and their education division. Well, when the opportunity arose that we could actually come out to this animal life sanctuary and actually film some of these big cats and big bears, uh, the idea that you know, Canon is stepping in and helping out the students use long lenses they never get a chance to use was spot on for like we're there. So I realized I'd actually been to this location about two weeks before. I talked to the, the, the professor and Next thing you know, I'm like, okay, I know we're going to need 200, 400, I know we're going to need 500 some longer lenses to really reach out. What I wasn't expecting was that the sanctuary helped out the students so much, they got us on the ground right next to the pins. So now the students have access to these super long lenses, these great animals on their eye level, and it's come up with some great pictures. Social uh, media, uh, media presence is so important to the mission of the Wild Animal Sanctuary. We generated so much publicity when we rescued those 25 lions from Bolivia eight or nine years ago. Being able to help students, especially college students who are about ready to enter into a career of cinematography or videography, um, is very important to us because it's just helping us tell our story millions of people that don't know about all these animals that are in uh, captivity. With documentary style filming, you can kind of get um, more like hands-on shots, kind of kind of get more what you're actually looking for, and then you can worry about how to put it together later. Um, whereas with storytelling kind of shooting, you kind of have to work with like the actual structure that you've kind of planned out and everything. You have to go by that in order to get everything pretty much, but I like this type of shooting because then you can just work with your environment, see what you can get out of the environment first and then kind of tell the story from there. My name's Aiden, I'm a student at CU Denver and for today we went out for advanced cinematography at the Wildlife Preserve and Canon donated us some 2 to 400 and 500 millimeter lenses and it was amazing. We were up close and personal with some lions earlier, like our shot was just his eye to his nose like right against the fence. Uh, we even had like one of the alpha lions like really like stomping at us and making noises and it, it was just an awesome experience to get that close and really get some cinematic shots with animals that I've never even seen in real life before so it made me feel like I was part of Nat Geo or something. <laughs>